yeah, yeah. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jarrell here holding it down for Jarrell Fitness. And you already know it's time to grow, bro. What's good? As y'all can see, your boy was rocking out to a little bit of that um, Wiz Khalifa from back in the day. Not the new Wiz Khalifa with the afro, with the blonde shit in his head and all. None of that. I took it old school, went back to the whole Cushion Orange Juice mixtape. If y'all never heard that mixtape, go back and listen to it. That's actually the, the mixtape that made me become a Wiz Khalifa fan back in the day. So, got some real good music on there. Like, some good music just to work out to or whatever. Y'all can check it out if you want to. If you don't want to check it out, it is what it is. So, anyway, guys, as y'all can see, your boy got his setup going on back here. I'm getting ready to get into a shoulder. A shoulder workout, so I may throw a few other muscle groups in there with the workout, but I'm primarily focusing on my shoulders. Lately, I've been kind of going easy on my shoulders, doing a lot of supersets, using like the 45-pound dumbbells. As you guys know, those are the heaviest dumbbells that I actually own in my possession, so that's the only reason why I go so light on my shoulders. But I'm going to go ahead and, you know, um, use this setup and go a little heavier, so I'm going to be doing seated military press. I have a slight, you know, um... Incline on the bench just to help out from me having to, you know, come down and move my neck back and all that other shit. You know, this is a lot more natural um, for me. And um, if you if you guys are familiar with a lot of machines in the gym, they actually already have like a slight incline to them as well. So it kind of helps and you're also able to hit the, the shoulders effectively just as good as if you're using, you know, the bench straight up like this, you know. So it doesn't really make a difference as long as you feel the muscle working and you're getting the work done. So yeah, man. So anyway, let me go ahead and do a few sets of this right here. Do a few other things. I'm going to let you guys watch the footage and I'm going to talk to you in the background about some other things. Alright, y'all. In the gym, in the gym, throwing weights up. In the gym, in the gym, throwing weights up. In the gym, in the gym, throwing weights up. In the gym, in the gym, throwing weights up. Dumbbells, barbells, yeah, we finna pick them up. Finna pick them up, yeah, we finna pick them up. Barbells, dumbbells, yeah, we finna pick them up. Finna pick them up, yeah, we finna pick them up. Lifting, bitch, you know I be lifting. That's the way that I'm living. Absolutely the mission. Introduction to fitness. Your real fitness better recognize when I'm bench pressing with an incline. And I'm going in like a motherfucking pro football combine. So I rotate. Rap first, the flow nine. Got to motivate my people. T2G be the sequel. Doing deadlifts, looking evil. Big homie, yeah, I see you. Never giving up, they can't beat you. We lethal. Bravo, 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 man. I hope y'all enjoyed that, man. That was a quick little, a little, quick little snippet song that I put together for you guys. Just pretty much a remix of Wiz Khalifa's In The Cut song, man. That shit came out years ago, but I've been meaning to get around and doing my own little remix to that shit, man. So it is what it is. I hope y'all enjoyed that. <laughs> don't be sitting around waiting for no full song because I'm not going to make it. I don't have the time for that shit, man. For real. So anyway, as you guys saw, man, um... During the song that I was playing, <laughs> I went ahead and did one set of like 135 for about 15 reps, I believe. Well, it might have been 10 reps. I can't really remember, to be honest with you guys. Um, then after that, I moved on to my second set of 155. As you guys noticed, that I wasn't using any of um, them. Any, um, um, I'm sorry, um, elbow sleeves, you know, which were the Ray-Ban knee sleeves. I use them. If you saw my last video, you know what I'm talking about. So that's what it is. But the third set, you know, that I did with 155, I went ahead and slapped those on. So that definitely um, warmed up those elbows and kept everything good. Then after that, I did 165 for like two reps. And that's pretty much what I worked my way on up to. What you guys just witnessed before I went to this clip right here doing the lateral raise, I actually did a drop set with... Um, I forgot how much it was. I think I did one, I think it was 145, and then I dropped it down to 135 and pretty much repped it out, get as many reps as I could. So as you can see right here, I'm using some 25-pound dumbbells, and I did like three to four sets of side lateral raises with the 25s, and that's pretty much it, man. So 
that's the workout um if you guys like this video if you like that song go ahead and leave a comment let me know how you liked it like the video if you're new to Jarrell fitness make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy and uh, that's pretty much it and like i said in the beginning you already know it's time to grow bro i'm gonna holler at y'all later deuces And it's pretty much a no-brainer if you guys really think about it. If you use knee sleeves on your knees when you're doing squats to help you improve your performance, why would you not use elbow sleeves in order to improve your bench press as far as when it comes to keeping your joints warm? And as you guys know, the more...